loss of the coin giving Cambridge choice of the Surrey side of the river and the sight of the Oxford Eight carrying their boat out marks a big step back on the royal road to the good old pre-war England. It's a bit hard sometimes to remember what it all used to be like. Well, here's a reminder. And then Cambridge followed. The heavier crew, they were rated as favourites by boat race experts. For the crews, there's a tough pull ahead over four and a quarter miles of river. But for the crowd, it's a holiday. Well, here they are lining up with Cambridge near the camera and they're off. Spectators watching through the spring mist saw the light blues pull ahead in the first minute. But the Oxford Cox came back with a call for 35 strokes to Cambridge's 34. From then on, the dark blues had everything taped. They went ahead and stayed there, looking winners all the way. Watching one mile in four minutes, seven seconds, Oxford beat off a Cambridge spurt at the approaches to Harrods. With AJR Purcell at stroke, Oxford stuck to the old orthodox rowing style, pulling together with a superb rhythm. At Hammersmith Bridge, the race was a procession with the light blues two and a half lengths in the wake. Still striking 36 to Cambridge's 34, Oxford stuck to their lead. Cambridge Cox Fisher and Stoke Neem quickened up to 35 but just couldn't hold it. Rowing at 34 they gave a game performance, but they couldn't reduce that three length lead. Some spectators came out well among the birds nests. The rest of the half million that lined the course weren't quite so lucky. Shooting Barnes Bridge, it's still Oxford and there's still that three lengths of water between them and the light blues. A big section of the half million packed the towpath for the finish. With the river smooth as a mill pond, Oxford was still punching it out at 36 strokes to the minute. A last muscle tearing burst, and it's the Dark Blues race. Past the post in 19 minutes 54 seconds. And Cambridge stuck it out too. No fainting over the oars, they pulled over the line with that same three lengths behind. It was Oxford's day all right. Still fresh, they came into a great welcome. A grand crew with a weight handicap, they gave the River Classic a brand new peacetime send-off. <laughs>